Yeah. Hi everybody. Welcome back to the Mul welcome to the Mulberry Creek Hour. It's five <laughs> o'clock on Tuesday. I am going to throw it over to Josh for just a minute because I didn't take a break in between the last late Facebook Live. You take it away for a minute. Hey folks. So I'm just getting set up to start the show. We got the Inner Sisters playing right now, Keeping Time. Uh, I'm just looking up to see what album that's on because I can't remember. Pretty sure it's on Keeping Time. Uh, we're thinking it's on Keeping Time. Um, it is, that's the name of the album. So, yes, we got a capo over here. Um, so, thank you for joining us on the Mulberry Creek Hour. We got a pretty fun uh, show today because. Woo! We got, Woo! We got a pretty good guest today. It's pretty exciting. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. So let's turn this down because uh, we'll Facebook down. doesn't pay so cane and we don't want our girls to... So uh, stealing from the inner sisters. But we need to know what, uh, how much time we got left. Yeah. Off, it's on YouTube. We have two, two minutes. minutes. We got two minutes left. So welcome to the Mulberry Creek Hour. We haven't started the radio show yet. So I'm just telling our, our guest that he's got 10 minutes before he's coming over. So when we come back from uh, the Inner Sisters, we're going to play uh, Mulberry Creek song. We'll talk for a minute, right? We'll give a little chat. Oh, chat. we're definitely going to talk. My God, yes. I'm here. All righty. It's you, an adventure. Do you leave your sneeze guard up? Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> just like we I think it's just so people don't lift the microphones. Come here. What? I'm dancing with you. Nobody can hear the music. It's okay, we can. <laughs> Exactly the girl's intention when they wrote Keeping Time. I think it was meant to be to get people up dancing to their songs because they're freaking awesome. So we're gonna when we start the radio show today, we're gonna talk about um, We should talk about that very cool event we went to we last did. week. We are going to. Henry's very nervous, he's outside the window. Sweet. So if you haven't seen the video, go check out the Inna Sisters on YouTube. Uh, there's a beautiful okay, video that Shaha Billy has uh, produced and directed. And, Ready? Um, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Welcome to the Mulberry Creek Hour. It's sometime around 5 o'clock on Tuesday. Uh, CHMR. Say, uh, say hey, Josh Morgan. Howdy. Hmm. Uh, so we have a fantastic show. I am really thrilled and honored today. Uh, we've got, we're gonna, we got a theme today. It's called Stuff We Made. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to follow I brought us, in a cake. Yep. Oh, did you really? It's a potluck. I didn't know there was going to be cake. <laughs> so we um, we uh, we had a we had a guest that we were supposed to have today, and as serendipity as things work out, um, we have a different guest that I'm beyond excited about. This is so the theme today is stuff we made. Starting with uh, you can follow along on Facebook on the Mulberry Creek uh, our Facebook page if you want and see all the visuals. But I I'm wearing a dress that I made. Mm -hmm. And I have uh, some books and things that we were a tiny part of, and then with CDs that we made and books we made. And uh, one of our offspring is coming in. Henry Glenn Morgan. Henry Glenn Morgan's on the radio in on the radio show in just a few minutes. We are uh, thrilled. We're absolutely thrilled. I'm regrouping from some bad news I just got from Arts and Ill on an email just before the show started. So thanks for that timing. I mean, that is absolutely <laughs> fantastic. fantastic. Thank you to the dedicated people who made sure that got out 12 weeks after the application deadline. Uh, <laughs> thank you for the work that we put into that that got absolutely turned down flat. And if you're listening, driving around in your car right now, thinking about driving into Hogan's Pond, I mean into the pond, or Kitty Vitty, or if you're you thinking about email. driving into a lake because you're an artist and you got turned down by a jury of your peers, don't. Keep it on the road. Keep it between the white. Keep it between the lines. Keep it between the ditches. You're still an artist. It's not an indictment of your talent or your creativity or your contribution to this planet that some crowd of people <laughs> turned down your application. Even if it was the second year you applied, even if you did everything they asked you to last year and that you still got turned down in the year of the arts in Newfoundland, you hang in there. And if you're driving by Confederation Building right now, giving it the finger, give it one for me. <laughs> oh my God, I'm a little angry right we now. Got, I think we have a very appropriate song to play. I. 
one of ours? Yes. Absolutely. Of course. We're going to play Loser Anthem in just a second. And I just want to tell you, I mean, congratulations to the people that made it. You know, I guarantee you the people that got uh, confirmations today, um, we're going to say 100% across the board, probably applied before. This is not the, they didn't get a yes right out of the gate. That's not how it works. Because you got to pay your dues, apparently, as an artist. <laughs> but um, I'm, I'm, so I'm regrouping. I uh, just did a little rant over my personal page. <laughs> so if you're friends with me, you can go see that. I just need hugs. I really, I don't know what else to do with it. Oh, I'm getting a hug right now in the studio. This is awesome. I'm glad we're married. Well, it helps. It really helps. So uh, we have an excellent guest, and I'm really excited about Henry. I'm, I am trying to regroup because I'm a little thrown by that. Um, but uh, let me, I'm going to play a song. I wrote this song about this exact feeling, and... Would it make any sense for How to Fail a Documentary Filmmaking? Would it make any sense to get grant funding to write a book? I mean, in the narrative of life... It's poetic. It's poetic. What other outcome is there? The only outcome is to do it yourself. Right? I mean, what other way is there? Anyway... You play a song, and I'm going to go get our guest. This is called Loser Anthem, and this is for all the folks. This is going out to people like me today who got turned down or rejected or told don't tell anybody we had anything to do with this project it's fine because there are people who do like you I guarantee you there are people out there right now who are getting a little tingle up their spine and going I don't know what it is but something's working out I know I don't know there's something working out for me and I, I can't see what it is and it might be someone who just decided you know what if this person's gonna keep creating keep making music keep teaching keep doing whatever it is that you do that makes your boat float there's someone out there that's I'm not even just one person. You don't know how many people you're going to impact in your lifetime by being you. And it's okay if everybody doesn't get you. That's not their job. Their job is to, you know, teach you how to, <laughs> I don't know, float anyway. So anyway, this is Loser Anthem. This is from <laughs> the show that didn't get made and the book that got rejected. <laughs> this is Loser Anthem. This is one for all of those that told me no For all of those tools that said I shouldn't say so Telling me to slow down when I just want to go Whoa, 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 whoa Whoa, 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 whoa. If you don't get a tingle up the back of your spine No regret in the morning Did you even have a time? You all want a story Well, I'm still writing mine Whoa, 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 whoa Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm getting older But I don't have to age
So that was Loser Anthem by Mulberry Creek. Welcome back. I finally got that applause app on my phone. I love that. I love that. And so appropriate to have it here today when we got one of our, one of the one of the people we made, man. <clears throat> so your mic is not turned on yet, buddy. Just We're going to turn his mic on. So uh, I want to make I want to make sure that we get okay, back to this. I'll just use his mic. No, no, no. Stay over on your mic. Is this turned on? So this is Henry's uh, very first. Okay, it's, yes, on. it's on. You don't so here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a big, deep breath. I didn't get the applause. We're going to arrive. We're going to arrive in the room. We <laughs> <laughs> haven't introduced him yet. Okay, wait. Oh, oh, so, so move away from my Congratulations. It's me. Okay. Welcome to the Mulberry Creek Hour. We're joined by... One of the Mulberry Creek, what mulberries? One of the mulberries. One of the mulberries. Oh, I like that. One of the mulberries. The uh, we're mulberries. really thrilled today. Yeah. We have a YouTube and SoundCloud rock star on the show with us today, and uh, we made him. Maybe we should move for the benefit of the Facebook Live. Maybe we should move you we're gonna over move. there. Yeah, so, we can, so uh, let's, we're going to do that. Josh, you take the ship for just a minute. Okay, so uh, this is Josh Morgan. You're on the Mulberry Creek Hour. Listen, this is the first time Henry's been on um, on the radio. Is it? Is no. It? I mean, no. You, you've, been, you've been in... A couple times. You poked your head in here and said hello and stuff like that. Uh, Henry, why don't you come back over to your mic a little bit? And uh, Sorry, I'm just getting up to shenanigans. If you watch the Facebook live stream, you'll understand what I just did. Yes, there's lots of shenanigans happening in the studio today. We're just having fun with it, you know? This is uh, part of being an artist family. <laughs> and uh, having a radio station on a local college, or a radio show on a local college radio station. And bringing your kids along with you. So this is it. This is what we're doing, and I'm I'm stalling for time so we can get the the Facebook Live uh, set up on the other side. Of this all right. There. So if you have a so first of all, we homeschool. <laughs> Did anyone know we homeschool? <laughs> get out of here. So homeschooling. Go me. back to your room. Give me all right. So give me your hand. We do homeschool. So we're going to breathe and we're going to arrive because we're live on the radio. And we're on Facebook Live, so we're gonna come here. We're gonna do this. We're gonna, I never do this. It's gonna look like we do this all the time, but we're gonna do this brand new for the first time. High five. So let's breathe and land. Okay, just appreciate that we're here. We got a live show, and uh, we got a famous son. How awesome is that? Yeah, you got lots of you got lots of so followers to the on, show. on uh, YouTube, don't you? Welcome to the show, buddy. Well, if there's a new thing in the chat. That's okay. We'll, so listen, we'll here's a cool here's a cool thing to know about these microphones. If you get right up close to it, but not too close, so it's kind of just above your nose, mm. and you can talk right into it, and everybody can hear you on radio land. And so, Dad, if you wow. if you do get too close and it peaks, you know about peaking, right? Yes. Yeah, Dad'll so Dad'll ride the the level I'll up there. I'll take care of it. Yeah. He'll take care of it. So don't get too close. Don't yell. Just be nice and calm. Your little brother's outside now, and I, I would crazy. imagine, I have a feeling that this is one of those stories that's going to be like, and then I decided, because I watched my little brother on the radio, I decided I wanted to be whatever. But he didn't, Peter didn't want to come in, but I think he was looking up to you like pretty impressed. He's in the other room. He's pretty impressed to have a, a famous brother, I think, that, that <laughs> he's gone crazy in the other room there. Okay, so let's talk about Henry. Henry uh, has a big... Um, Massive. So we started off with like the idea of you know social media being like oh my god scary and electronics and all that kind of stuff. We've actually had incidents where like relatives or we'd be out in a restaurant or whatever and they'd be like how come your kids are on electronics and it's like well because he enjoys it. Did we make a mistake? What do you think, Henry? Mm -hmm. Did we make a mistake letting our kids have electronics? Tell us, tell, give us some parenting advice. Do you think it was a good idea or a bad idea to let you, to let our kids? Most of the time, it's probably a bad idea to let your kid kids spend <laughs> no, his for you. life on we're, the phone. We're about yes, for you. I mean in general, yeah. You don't want them to live on the phone, but do you enjoy your devices? I suppose. And how has your? Um, tell me about socially. Um, is it just? Tell me about your experience being on SoundCloud and YouTube. Is it like just you post stuff and that's it? You post it and you walk away, or do you have any sort of? Um, any collabs or any followers or any any sort of engagement with people, or do you just dump? Pump? What's it called? Uh, drop and dump. Drop and dump, drop. Dump, dump, and, dump run. and run. Yeah. <laughs> do you do a dump and run, or do you have like relationships with uh, with your followers? Well, most of the time, I just half-ass my music. That's my swear for the show. That's the one you get, and then you got no more. He's going by corporate broadcast rules. We've been telling him that he can swear once. That's We've been watching that. Never have I ever. We've been watching Never Have I Ever on Netflix, and some and they just got picked up by. They got picked up by a new broadcaster, and sometimes they say like real awful swear words, <laughs> just real strong words, sure. not bad ones, just strong ones. Watching and that show our kids like go in our house. Is it? It's true. It is true. It's very clever writing. Very creative people. Yes, I mean, without all the 
Let's get back to yeah. your. Let's get back to your art let's. and your creations and your uh, creativity. Tell me about uh, how many how many subs do you have on YouTube? Like seven hundred now. So we have a secret weapon at our house. People don't really know this. Um, secret weapon is called. No, we have a twelve-year-old, and ma most people are not aware of this. But marketing campaigns, based on the degree I'm not using in communication, um, most marketing campaigns are geared towards twelve-year-olds. That is the mo that is the um, intelligence level, engagement level, mental and emotional, psychological level of most consumers. Because not that you're not older than twelve. People who are older than twelve who are listening and just went, "Oh my God, I'm offended," but it's meant to. Uh, that's the attention span that people have during commercials and during um, TV and radio commercials and things like that. It's basically, it's not your whole brain, no offense Henry, to the 12-year-old sitting next to me. But anyway, we have a secret weapon who knows all about social media and knows about all the ins and outs. Henry, tell me, if I wanted to grow a YouTube channel, what would be your advice? How did you do it with yours? You see, the thing here, the thing with YouTube... Oh, sorry. So the thing to do with YouTube... There's no strategy at all. Like, people will tell you that there's some crazy method with thumbnails and crap. Post constant garbage and then <laughs> add a bunch of hashtags. That's all you need to so where do. So where, where do you get your hashtags from? How do you from? find how out you know what hashtags you use? I use shorts. I use hashtag shorts. When I'm posting a YouTube short, I'll use hashtag shorts, hashtag shorts feed, and hashtag comedy. And those will normally hide. Those, <laughs> so that, will, those will normally get me so quite awesome. a lot of views. So that works out for you. Yeah, pretty much. I just go around my house, take a video of, say, a banana, and just I'll just hold up the phone and be like, oh, look, it's a banana. I'm not even joking. Remember the tree? Remember the weird-shaped tree you found one time? Yeah, I just took a video. Video what was that? Weird, CBS? Weird. CBS. Okay. It was a trail up at CBS. <laughs> <laughs> this is how we talk. This is, the, this this is, is what it's like in our living room, so why yeah. would we do any different on the radio? We're not going to put on airs just because we're on the radio. <laughs> well, bas Sorry, basic, all you need to do, basically, I find, is just go take a video of something random and just say something like, like go take a video of a weird shaped tree in your backyard and just be like, oh, look at this tree, and then add a bunch of hashtags to it. So what I'm hearing from you is that variety and frequency is important, like putting a lot of stuff out and a lot of different stuff, and that gets a lot of more people to Yeah, you need to be posting constantly or you're going to instantly fade into obscurity just like that. <laughs> okay, That's and tell me this. social media works. It's, what, it's terrible. In your experience. Don't recommend this. When you work really hard, so give me, I'm going to give you two choices here, and you tell me which one works better and feels better. When you put a whole lot of effort into content for YouTube versus I'm going to take this quick video of my beagle puppy, whatever. Like, which content gets the most engagement do you find? Is it the stuff that you work really hard on and you really put a lot of thought into, I hope lots of people love it, or is it the stuff that you get an impulse or inspiration and you just jam it on there? What do you find gets better response and engagement? Ironically, it's like the stuff you put effort into. Like, most of YouTube is just mindless garbage. You get more engagement from stuff you put effort into? Actually, surprisingly, yes. When I post something music related, I'll, I'll okay. post something really, cr like, I'll, I'll put no effort into something and get, I'll get, like, maybe a couple hundred views from... So basically, here's how it works on YouTube. You have returning viewers and you have new viewers. Returning viewers are people who come back to your channel and mm -hmm. watch all the stuff you make. And there's new viewers, which are just people that notice your videos and think they might be interesting and click on it. So, so like, if I post something crappy, I do have a large following and I'll still get a few hundred views from it. But if I actually put effort into something, it'll get shared more and reposted more. Uh -huh. and, then, and then more new viewers will show up instead of just my returning viewers. So when I actually put effort into something and like post something decent, I actually will get a few thousand views. But when I don't put any effort into something, I only get a few hundred. You get some traction. Yeah. I, I would like to hear more about your particular uh, skill set with music. What do you do? What do you Tell use and what music. do you do? I use I use an online site called Beatbox. Yeah, you heard that right. I use an online free website for music. <laughs> so wait, you don't have to spend thousands of dollars on musical uh, electronics gear and and studio Isn't equipment? It? You can just do a free app and make music. Yeah, that's one way to do well, it. Well, ironically, I have paid I have paid a lot 
or well, we didn't have you bought me a lot of you it helps me, to have parents you bought, bought me a lot of music equipment but i refuse to use it and i just <laughs> use the free garbage i can find on my phone because i refuse to learn how to use fl studio i don't even know how to make a melody on that i don't know like we'll i have there. the full version of fl studio which is like the best music type i have no idea how to use it and i refuse <laughs> to learn i'm sticking with beatbox and you can't change my mind so you use beatbox and what kind of music do you make yeah. Mostly video game music, yeah. So like eight bits kind yeah. of chip tune stuff? Yeah. Very cool. Do we have so you do have um there is a TV show out there with some of your music on it? Oh yeah, but that's that, if don't, if, it, don't, if you hear that, don't I don't like don't, don't base that off my other stuff. That was for specific that was a specific was a project. They needed a certain thing made and you turned it around in less than twenty four hours and were paid for it and it was on a TV and now it's on a TV show. So it's not necessarily the creative stuff that brings in income. It's you know, it can be a commission stuff that <coughs> someone knows how to use an app or use make music because not everybody knows how to do that, you know. Do you know do you know that? Yeah, it's actually pretty easy to learn. You just get beatbox like I don't even know music theory. Yeah. I think you know a lot actually. I, I know a couple things on how to do a satisfying melody, but like, I don't know much about music theory. Uh, maybe we should. And I still have hundreds some... of followers, so obviously it's not that hard. So to learn, I think that's what most. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm just a 12 year old with no education on music besides what the, what <laughs> I picked up from these guys over the years, and I'm I'm just a dumb little kid. So obviously, if I can do it, you you guys should we do a sample? I love that. Just from an adult education perspective, I love that he downplays just what he picked up from his parents, who are in a band, and like we do this professionally. <clears throat> so you didn't like just absorb a little tiny bit of it; like you're in, immersed in it. So this ed that education counts too. Homeschool hashtag homeschool. Mm -hmm. Just a little shout out to people who homeschool. Um, this is a product where they go, oh, are we even learning? Yeah, most of the time. So how about this? How about we do a quick PSA? Yeah, this is a good idea. We'll, fit, we'll find a, a good song for you to share with us, and then we'll come back and, and we'll listen to one of your one of your songs. One of your, uh, your songs from I guess your I'll, I guess I'll try to find something on my SoundCloud. Okay. We'll so talk we'll, about SoundCloud when we, well, after we listen. We're going to do a quick PSA and uh, station ID, and we'll be right back. Yeah. Okay, come over quick. Still Hit it, hit it. Come over quick. So this is your YouTube was channel. awesome. Tell me something we can share on your YouTube channel. They're not going to see the video, they're just going to hear the music. Um, okay, maybe. Oh, wait, go off. Go off. Oh, um, that, that one might, this one might be decent. This one? Yeah. Okay, so that's only a couple minutes. Do you have another one also? Like, the um, do Keep scrolling down, I guess. So, go through so open up another window so you can put something else in it. Or like, control, click, on the stuff you're going to play. Oops. How long are they? Uh, this one's two minutes. And We're going to post a link to the... Uh, they're not entirely original. I, I reuse the melodies. That's okay, they're, they're covers. That's fine. Um, what else? Um, yeah, I, I do so many covers, damn. Oh, this is oh this is actually entirely original. You can use Josh, that. You, what's playing right now? Oh, we're up. So, let's let's chat, let's chat, let's chat. Let's chat. <laughs> Welcome back to the Mulberry Creek Hour. We are, <laughs> welcome back to the Mulberry Creek Hour. We are uh, in the studio right now with Henry Morgan. And uh, we're just sorting out some stuff that we can play <laughs> of Henry's original music or covers. We or, didn't or... realize we were still on, so there was a bit of <laughs> silence at the right. beginning, so sorry about that. It's people feel I'm out. Dairy Marbles. That's not a big deal. Okay, so we're going to play one of your songs. You ready? You ready for this? Um, yeah. Okay, do you want to introduce this one, Henry? What is um, it? Well, this one I did for... Um, I, I'm not gonna give the whole back backstory, but basically, it's just like, I, I'm doing I'm doing a soundtrack for pretty much just a parody of another game, and ironically, th this is uh, uh, an original song that, I'm, that I made for for the project. Um, people really seem to like it. Main, like, it's an entirely chip tune song. Uh, yeah. What's chip tune mean? Mm -hmm. what's, what's chip what's tune? Mean? Eight eight bit something you'd hear from an old video game. So like cool. Mario Brothers. Retro. Or, yeah. Love it. or something. Yeah. Okay. So here we go with uh, what's. Uh, do we have a name for this one? Uh, just just call it Chip Tune Song. <laughs> okay. All right. Here's a song from Henry Morgan. Can we hear it in here too? Is it okay to play it in here? Huh? Yeah, it's not copyright or anything. This is awesome. So we're sharing it with Facebook Live too. So we'll post a link to his channel. What? 
We have another child outside looking through the window. I'm not sure if this is the most recent version of it. I think that I think that I think I might have made a new version sometime. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is one version I found on my YouTube channel. <laughs> How long is this one? We did another uh, 50 seconds. Good stuff. We're supposed to be panning on that dude in the middle of it, but I. Well, there's only one speaker. I don't know. They can hear it on the radio. Panning. Yeah, it's where it's. What's panning? It's basically where you can, like, it's like if you have headphones on, it's like we're here, you hear something out of I was just being a teacher there, pointing out that there's meta learning going on. Learning about learning. Yeah. How's this feel, Henry? Showcasing your music. I have a newer one that's gonna come on. I'm gonna come on. Oh. Did you talk about Facebook this is Live? This is on, yeah. Facebook Live's on. No, 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 no. Facebook Live. Oh. Facebook Live just has Hello. a microphone oh, okay, on. Okay, okay, we're back. We're back, we're back, we're back. And we're back. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Okay. <laughs> that was I fun. It. I love it. We did good, Josh Morgan. You're a pretty good kid here. Pretty talented kid, hey? So you're just saying... This is my new song. This has this is for the same project I made, which is the parody of the of one of the video games uh -huh. I like. This one, keep keep in mind, I did I didn't use any sort of midis or anything for this. A midi is like basically just a pre-made song that you can add if you mm -hmm. don't know what that is. I didn't use any midis or anything for this song, but I do use some melodies. A lot of melodies from other games. So keep in mind, this is like a semi. Or just... So we're ready. We're ready to play another. Is what you're saying? Another yeah. one from Henry Morgan. Okay, so here we go. This is uh, another song from Henry Morgan. You can call this one "Cheese Balls." <laughs> <laughs> but then there's one going. You know that's going to be in the uh, playlist for today, right? Why is it playing, Henry? Yeah. You have the volume turned down. I don't. It's not giving us anything. Why don't give us any sound? Is there nothing on the video? No, it's... Is the sound turned down on the video? It's okay. Oh. Okay, we're going to start going over. Technical difficulties. Here we go. Sorry about that, guys. You got some friends on there saying, hey, and how awesome you are. Oh, Thank wow. you, everybody. You just made this, didn't you? Hmm? Yeah, we have a day. It's pretty new. I remember hearing it earlier recently. I have, I have, a, uh, I, this was just a sound contest, I got a, so basically with Beatbox, it's a very popular software, and it's, a, it's an open source software, which means that basically anyone who knows how to code can download the uh, code of the, of the software, so like, people have made a lot of mods of Beatbox, and the most recent one basically combines every single mod that's ever been made, it's called Ultrabox. And uh, yeah, this is just a sound font test because it has a lot of new instruments and stuff to use. So I, yeah. Can you do me a favor? When yeah. When we come back live on the radio, can you can I ask you that question and you'll explain that again? Sure. Because it is a college radio station and there's a lot of 19, 20, 21 year olds that are, you know, sitting in a physics class or in a in a history class going. Yeah. Oh yeah, and shout out to my YouTube fans who probably found us somehow because you guys are. Determined to find everything I ever <laughs> dedicated. made. Dedicated, fans. dedicated fans. So I see you guys. Uh, well, not everything I've ever made. But you know what I mean. Sometimes okay. so we're coming back in just a minute, guys. We're coming back in five seconds. That was cheese balls. What's up, guys? That was cheese balls from Henry Morgan, who is one of the mulberries. We're very happy to have you in the studio today, Henry. And you were just explaining to our Facebook Live uh, audience how you get the uh, sound fonts. Can you tell me what that is? Can you can you dumb a that down? Sound font for me? is basic. A, a Mom it down. Basically, a sound font is like an instrument you can use on a on a, 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 Create okay. on a music. What, whatever. Basically, a sound font is just an instrument you can use on a digital wor wor audio workspace or a DAW. Um, basically, a DAW. Yeah. A sound font is an instrument you can download onto your DAW and use it to make music. So basically, this new, that song that just played, uh, it was really just a sound font test. Like, 
I just I just made it to try to showcase some new stuff I uh, stuff I found because basically I told you about Beatbox earlier. It's basically just like an online website. If you don't, if you're just tuning in now, uh, Beatbox is an online website that I use to make music, and it's also free if you want to try it out. You just search up Beatbox. So you can add different instruments and sounds and everything to it, and use different instruments in that and make your own songs. No, people not real. <laughs> yes, you can make your own instruments, but it's easier to use people uh, instruments. Other people may fears coming over lock the door. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Peter. Happy family, happy family. For, for those of you listening on the radio and can't see Peter's waving on the Facebook Live, uh, shout out to Peter Morgan, little brother extraordinaire. Uh, Henry, tell us more about uh, Henry's biggest fan. So basically, uh, Beatbox, uh, Beatbox is software that was made open source, which means basically if you know how to code, why is he here? <laughs> Peter just wants to say hey, right? No, come, come down here. Can I just finish my sentence? Yes, absolutely. Yes. Keep going. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Basically, Beatbox is an open source uh, software, which basically means like anyone who knows how to code can download um, the how you can download the code of Beatbox and make a mod. He does not need to be here. It's okay. It's okay. He, you can anyone can download Beatbox and make a mod, of it, and a lot of people have. Like there's this mod, Jumbox, which basically just adds more sound pods and features to Beatbox. And so basically, people have made more and more mods over the years. And there's a new mod out called Ultrabox, which combines all of the features and instruments and sound pods you could ever imagine. So basically, I just I just made that song as a sound. So pod here's a question for you: Do you ever make your own instruments from scratch? Like, do you ever start like with a mm. with a, a, um, a a synth or sounds from around the house or anything like that? Sometimes, sometimes. Sometimes, I guess, yeah. But so you have. You can't really record stuff on beatbox. Right? Oh, is that right? What yeah. do you use to record new sound, new sounds? I don't. <laughs> yeah, but there's a way to do it, right? Like, there's other apps. Yeah, so what other apps do you use? Yeah, so band light. What but else? I do don't you really use? use that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna ask a question now, just pretend that we're, you know. For, for, if people are doing a psychological study on us, I want to ask one of your fans. Um, how do you do? You like Henry's music, Peter? Yeah. Uh, tell me about when Henry is making music around the house on his phone or on his computer and that kind of stuff. Does he seem happy to you? Does he seem like he's in in a space like where he's actually making stuff that he's proud of and like does he get excited about it, the stuff that he's making? I don't know. You don't know. You haven't noticed. You haven't noticed. Huh, okay. He just tunes me out at this point. Tunes okay. you out. Let's see what you did there. Uh, so who do you think is probably Henry's biggest fan right now? Me! <laughs> well, yes, I am president of the fan the club. YouTube, my YouTube viewers who somehow found this live stream. Yes, That's that would be awesome. That would be awesome. So uh, what do we, I what know else you're we... out there. I'm so watching Henry, you. Henry, do you have another song you'd like to play, or should we uh, move no, on I to... No, I think uh, they're watching you. They're watching you. Should we move on to another... for you. There's more PSAs. What do you so think? So this I is. I don't have any more songs to play. This Those is a, are all the really that's you, that's all you got. Oh, he's got a bunch. He's got a bunch. And this is just a little slice of life, where these people come in and uh, pick me up when I'm feeling down. Isn't that in a song already? Probably, but we can put it in another one. Wait. So do, we're going to uh, get do, back do, to. Uh, do, do. We're going to play a couple more songs before we go, and I just want to thank our guests, Henry Morgan and Peter Morgan. We are going to put today. Henry's YouTube channel in the comments. We will put links to YouTube, YouTube and SoundCloud. Yeah. Oh, I do want to ask you about collabs because you do have. Uh, this sounds like a yellow, <coughs> uh, an Amber Alert <laughs> PSA. When I'm not, I think about it. <laughs> But you do have folks on on those platforms that you collab with, right? So collaborating, like you're uh, able to share, you're able to share thing. things with each other, and th totally through all visible to everybody, no private messages, stuff like that. Um, no, but I you do, do have, I do use private messages. It's not, um, it's not. I mean, it is a little bit like social media, isn't it? it but is. my question is, do you meet other artists from, and are you where are you able to collab with people? Is it limited to? Any particular geographic area, or to just the internet? Just the internet. So okay. anywhere, anywhere in the world, somebody has the internet, you can co collaborate with them and make them speak English. Well, yeah. And there's always translators. That's true. Yeah. Use that. I love that you're loving the chair there. So we are <laughs> going to play another Henry Morgan tune, and uh, thank you what, to Peter Morgan for dropping in to see us. What time is it? Are we playing another Henry song? Are we playing another Henry okay, song? I'm gonna desperately try to scramble through to find the original song I've done. Um, what do you say? Um, We're scrolling Henry's YouTube channel. Um, 
Yeah, most of the stuff I make is a joke. Oh, this stuff's old. I don't want to play it. Okay, okay. Okay. So we're going to um, play something else then? Okay, Live yeah. on the air on what CHMR think, on Mulberg Creek Hour? We're in the studio. If you're just joining us, we're in the studio Henry, come here. at CHMR with the Mulberg Creek uh, Hour, no, and we are joined just, by uh, our little no, Mulberry Junior. I don't. Henry Morgan. Um, uh, no. All okay. this stuff is covered. Okay, so well, we can, do, we, can do some, we can do some PSAs and. Uh, We'll do some PSAs and then we'll come back with some other songs. I think this was, Henry, can you bring your chair over this way? I think this was organized chaos. I, I think it was, it was very successful having, chaotic, but that's having right. uh, Henry on the show. And I know he was a little nervous today, and I think he'll get more comfortable. So, Henry, you, you, was good you, have a, you have a chair, you have a microphone anytime you want on the Mulberry Creek Hour, because this was really fun. This was exactly what I needed on. today. We'll save a seat for you. Yes, your microphone is Peter's asked me if I want a rubber band, and if we can buy some peace tea on the way out. All right, so we're going to play, uh, this is a song from uh, Mike Fisher, uh, who was on our show a few weeks ago. I and, promise. Uh, Sorry. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. I promise next time I'm on the show. If if I'm on the show, I'll have more originals to play. I'm sorry. I well, that's a, that's a good goal I for always you. make covers. Henry, I love goal. what you're doing, and I love how happy it makes you to be creating stuff. And I'm really proud of you. And I'm glad that it, I'm glad it's reaching other people because oh, Josh, your dad and I know how amazing you are. But it's nice to know that other people see it too. And that's a nice. I think that's a really nice experience for you to have, where people appreciate what you're doing and can send you the love, and you know, collaborate with you, and they're getting something from it too because they, you know, they're doing creative stuff too. And it's nice to meet other like-minded people. So, yeah. congratulations on all your followers and your musical success. And I hope you do lots more stuff. I'm really looking forward to everything you get up to because you're awesome. You're like the best kid in the world. Okay. Two best kids in the world, in right the world. here. <laughs> all right, night. thank you for being with us, Henry. Thank and, you, boys. Um, I'm We're gonna, sleepy, Z, Z, Z. Here's a song from Mike Fisher. It's called, Is It Against the Law to Kill My Neighbors? <laughs> yes, probably. We'll be right back. All right, boys, that's the wrap on you guys. So you guys went out in the holding area. Find a bunch of rubber bands over Fantastic, there. fantastic. We'll so we'll be out in just a few minutes when we're on the show, okay? So back in the, back in the newsroom. Mm -hmm. And we'll come get you in a little bit, okay, guys? Awesome. Let's take the phone back. You can. You can get this one. No, Peter? Oh, wait, right. <laughs> Get out of here. I love you. Okay, here you go. Okay, go. Okay, go. <laughs> it's backwards. <laughs> Get out of here. You're supposed to say SOS. All right, close See you guys. Thank you for helping. Bye. Hey. Bye. Be good over there, okay? Uh, Resetting up on this side of the disc. There's a lot of shit over here. Shenanigans. That's what this is. Complete and utter. What are we doing for the last few minutes? Shenanigans. Well, we have 15 minutes left. Do we? We'll play this song oh. and we'll. Let's do um. Chant. Yeah. Let's. Do we guys have any any requests? Mulberry Creek requests. Can we turn this down so we're not stealing Mike's material? Thank you. I love uh, you. Anything really? You anything we can look up on YouTube? We can play it. Oh, some water. Anything you want to hear? Anything you want us to talk about? Um, we'll play some more Mulberry Creek songs probably. Uh, right now, Mike Fisher's playing. This is from Diary of a Psychic Vampire, and it's called Is It Against the Law to Kill My Neighbors? I'm going to just move over here to where you can see it. It's backwards, but this is available at all the places you can get things. How are we doing? I'm doing fantastic. That was, uh... that was fun. That was I think that was a real-life example of how our life is all the time. All the time. All the time. I'm the luckiest woman on the planet. Henry's back over there in the, in the next room right now on, his, on the phone. Head down. Making another song. Neck down. We need to get one of those things that holds the phone up in front of him so that he doesn't grow like a gooseneck wink. He, well, he's already almost, he's six feet tall. He is six feet tall. So I, I think he At could 12. use a little growth stunting. We should let him start smoking. Is it too late? Is it too late to that? I, it was too late for me to start. <laughs> Never too late, honey. <laughs> too late. Never too late to follow your dreams. I, you know what? That was really fun. And that uh, that was, I'm really glad we had the show today. So the time I think that we might get um, dinged from the radio station people. Who is that? CRTC? They're going to be like, too much dead air. Too much craziness. No more kids. I'm dead kidding. air. I'm kidding. I'm what kidding. are you talking about? Don't I'm kidding. It was fun. Air. It was fun. It was crazy. Yeah. I'm, what I'm saying is we did great. It was fun. You know, this would be a good uh, um, case study for psychologists and all that to see how a happy little creative hippie family navigates life and <laughs> takes care of each other and uh, reaches out to the masses for support when they need it and celebrates together with all the stuff that's, you know, there's lots of great stuff. 
And so I had a bunch of stuff that I want to talk about today. So when we come back from from Mike Fisher, I'm gonna when we come back from Mike Fisher. I'm gonna do some quick PSAs. Yep. And then we'll come. come and then back we got a few minutes, and I want to talk about a few places that we went. We had a couple of experiences over the last couple of weeks that were really, really great, and I really uh, wanted to talk about those today. So, yeah. We can. We, we got time. That was really fun with Henry. Yeah. I think he was very nervous. He's uh, he was fidgety and. Uh, that was really funny. And Peter wanting to come in too, which I love. I, I feel like those are one of those experiences where, uh, um, like, imprint. It's like imprints on your brain. Like, I had an experience, and I talk about this a lot, a lot, because I feel like it was such a big moment in my life for so many reasons. But I just remember, I think I had chicken pox in grade four, grade five. And I missed the first few weeks of school. I don't know how long you're at with chicken pox. It's kind of a blur. But I just remember I came back. Uh, to school, and I remember walking in the gym at St. Teresa's. Is song over? We got 20 seconds, and then I'm going to do a PSA. Anyway, I walked in the gym, and they, all the classes, there was like four or five classes at our grade level in St. Teresa's, and uh, there was a talent show going on, and I had missed out on the day when they picked all the stuff they were going to do, and the weeks of practice. So I walked in and actually got to watch the show, and I just remember being very, very inspired by like I'll Come Back to be continued. Did you know that pens can't go into normal plastic recycling and have to be processed separately? Staples are partnering, partnering with TerraCycle to divert writing instruments from landfills. As part of this, a new pen recycling initiative has launched at Memorial University. There are two pen recycling bins as of now, one placed in the QE2 library and another at the Graduate Students Union office, GH 2007 Field Hall. Everyone is encouraged to gather their empty pens and drop them off when convenient. Fabulous. 20 seconds. What are we playing now? So do we have another song ready to go? Um, I got uh, Gary Smith here. Who we love. We do love Gary Smith. 15 seconds. Gary's traveling, of course. So we're looking forward to him getting back home. Okay, ready? Coming back in five seconds. Is that a mandolin song? That's a good song. Welcome back to the Mulberry Creek Hour again with Vicki and Josh Morgan. Hi. Mulberry Creek <laughs> extraordinaire. I don't know. Uh, so I don't that, know. I don't anyway. Know. I don't know. So the theme of the show today, I'm here. I just arrived. This is what usually happens around 45 minutes into the show. <laughs> I finally arrived. Time to My show. brain finally arrives in the room. <laughs> I just want to give a quick little shout out to Tina Madigan. Who wrote Written in Stone? Tina is from Bell Island and it's awesome. You should go check out Written in Stone. It's Cannabis Chronicles, an accidental journey to awakening. She started writing her book when cannabis became legal and it's awesome. It's really awesome. That's on Amazon. This little book right here, uh, Cattails from the Funny Farm by Newman P. Thornbury. Newman has passed on since this, but he was a cat. He wrote his, a book. His legacy on lives on. His legacy lives on. On the Funny Farm, and I encourage you to go check that out. We have some exciting news about this book. Now, I don't know if the frequency I'm on the last couple of weeks uh, contributed to the events of today, but it probably did. Anyway, onward and upward, things are actually getting brighter. Have some big news about For the Grace of Joe. We republished, we we re -update, we updated the, pay, uh, the book when, two days ago? Three days ago? Yeah, just three um, days ago. So if you have a copy of this book that has a whole bunch of names in it that um, were changed, so if you have a copy, is this is the original one. The artwork is by Stephen Hoke. He's brilliant. I sent him the manuscript, and this is the painting that he sent back to me, and we made a cover out of that. And uh, we published this book five years ago, 2018, February of 2018. And I changed all the names. Here's This is the, the creative arc of, my, of this story. I changed all the names because I was afraid it might peeve people off. Um, and so I um, that didn't sit right with me. Because when I changed all the names, I also didn't get to thank all the people who actually were very helpful and kind and wonderful. So we, re, we when you publish on KDP, which is Kindle Direct Publishing, which is a branch of Amazon, um, it's self-publishing. And you can update your book when things like that happen. So I, Josh and I, went through the book line by line and put all the real names in there. So if you have a copy with the original, the original copy with all the made-up names, probably going to be worth 5 or $10 one of these days. But the new book has all the real names in it. So if you haven't bought the book before or haven't read the book before, it is ebook, audiobook, and um, print book. And that's on Amazon. And for the benefit of our listeners, we will put the links to that on the Facebook yeah. Live 
later on this evening. And I guess we should lean into the things that we sell a little bit more since, yeah. uh, you know, for all the unrelated events that happened earlier in the show today um, <laughs> that we haven't told our children <laughs> about. But anyway, uh, you know, maybe if you wanted to give us a hand, maybe go pick up a copy of the book. Maybe yeah. go rent. We have films on demand. We have a civil conversation about guns, which costs a lot to make and um, you can rent that on Vimeo and there's also Million Dollar View which is about my uncle who lives on the southern shore who um, anyway he's, he's a fascinating fascinating person. Who, so you're saying we have stuff that we've made? We got stuff that you we can buy if you want to uh, be a big help and uh, what else? So there's those two books and also you know what I'm gonna sit back with this book because I've been really worried about, like, well, how would I feel if that application got rejected from Arts and Ale? Like, would I be able to put the creative work into it that needs to be done to complete it? And uh, turns out, wasn't that bad. Wasn't that bad. I, the I'm book's here. still there. And I did what I do. I turned to my family, and um, and they did what they do. They're wonderful and just little little beams of light that make my life so much better and they make it worthwhile because the outside stuff doesn't matter and I sincerely uh, like my condolences to the tragic events uh, yesterday that happened just down the road from the campus here um, there's some real life stuff going on that uh, people need to worry about and so creative work is what keeps our stick on the ice it keeps us between the between the lines it keeps the boat you know uh, all it keeps it between the beacons and all that stuff because it keeps us happy. It gives our lives meaning to be creative and to share with other people and to have other people give us feedback and tell us that they're doing their own work or they're writing their own books or they're recording their own songs or writing their own songs is a really wonderful, meaningful life to me. Making things. They're making things that didn't exist before, which is a, a sacred, um, inspired it's thing. It's kind of magical, right? It's magic. It is pure magic. Like this thing that is, is here right now that didn't exist before because you made it. That's magic. And 5, 10, 15, 20, 50 years from now, somebody could listen to your song or look at your painting or read your book and say that they're in the same place that you were at that time because they it's like telepathy, right? It's like you're across the Absolutely. years. You're getting the same frequency and, and vibes. and it's, it's a pretty magical thing. Yeah. So I do want to mention uh, we went to an event in Petty Harbor last week that blew my mind. It was the coolest. Oh, what was the name of the place? Uh, uh, what was the Fishing name of for it? Success. Fishing for Success. So there's a little oh, nonprofit man. going on out in Petty Harbor where they do classes and things for homeschool groups and for different uh, school groups and tourists and whoever wants to go down there. They have these little sessions where they teach you about fishing and you can go down and learn about twine things like uh, mending nets and, and uh, hooking nets and you can go out in a boat and actually jig cod fish. You can, they teach you, like the, it was the most authentic Newfoundland experience I have ever had in my life. And I have <laughs> lived here most of, well, three quarters of my life I spent in Newfoundland. And I, Josh was with me. And it was really beautiful. Oh man, it was so fun because the 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 fishing the whole the it's, you, say, you say museum, but it's like three it's or a four living museum. fishing stages yeah. with uh, you know boats and paraphernalia for fishing and Flakes life jackets and, and just jig a, a, a squid jigger uh, like on the reel with the actual squid jiggers. There was a lot of things there related to fishing. We actually saw somebody a crab fisherman. Yeah, at the just across the harbor. With but a beautiful it was it was it that was night. like and then so we had this we had the book reading and there was music by the Inner Sisters and then this, So let's let's back it back. Back it up, back it up. Fishing for Success hosted an event with Perry Chafe down at their uh, place in Petty Harbor and it was we didn't know what to expect when we pulled in. We had no <laughs> idea. The last time we saw Perry Chafe, well, he was at the rooms, which is, you know, glitzy and fancy and shiny and you know, twinkly. This was the thing at the Fishing for Success was the most authentic Newfoundland experience. Like it could be one of those things that you do on a, like adventure tours where you get the full immersive experience. Perry Chafe read from his book. Oh my God. It's his first, he's over 50. He wrote his first novel after the age of 50. That alone to me is like, you know what? Oh my God, keep going. Just keep going. There's it just, it's never too late to try these things. Now Perry's had a full career of TV and film and tons of other things that he's done. This is his first novel that he wrote. This is a piece of his, like, he imagined this book and wrote it all down. So anyway, and then after Perry did a reading, the Innes Sisters got up. Now I have a long history with the Innes Sisters that like I, I keep, there's like layers upon it that I just keep going back to and you know, it comes right back to in fifth grade. I was out with chicken pox and I walked in and I got to see the talent show 
uh, I, I didn't participate in it, which is hilarious. Like, that I, yeah, whatever. I saw all these other talented people, and I was blown away. I remember walking in and seeing it. Maureen Ennis up on that stage, and she was doing a Leader of the Pack, and she had this little fringed leather jacket on. It was like, <laughs> and I was just so inspired. I wanted to be where she was. I wanted to be on stage. I wanted to perform, and I'm so proud of her. She knew when she was that young, and so they, of course, performed at the Fishing for Success event last week, and someone in the audience, this is what makes it all the full circle moment. It comes around. Someone in the audience yelled out, can you play Ennis Road? Which, and Josh was like, what's that? Because Josh wasn't <laughs> around 25 years ago when the Ennis sisters put out their first, when they first started performing together. I mean, they had been probably playing and singing together at family things, but they have a professional career of 20, spanning 25 years. And so even though it was the middle of, well, the beginning of June, they broke into this Christmas song um, called Ennis Road. And everybody... It was pretty, it was pretty know, awesome. It was beautiful. And it was like this authentic, we're in the moment. It's not Christmas time, but we all love the song. And it just brought me back to, oh my God, I knew Maureen when we were teenagers, long before that, when she wanted to be a writer. She wanted to write songs, and so she wrote songs. And the stuff she wrote when she was really young is also very good. It's not like, oh, she started up. No, she's always been amazing. And she's just, she glows when she performs. And I just want to give a little shout out because Maureen has said some of the kindest things I've ever had said to me in my lifetime. And I'm so proud to know her. She's so, the girls, the fact that they've managed to uh, perform together for 25 years. And they, folks, they live here in Newfoundland. Like, you can go places in Newfoundland and run into them. Like, they're, <laughs> they're there. And, I, and I, has, I have said this before. If you sing next to an Ennis, <laughs> they will just automatically do harmony. It's they just, they're so talented and so sweet. And so I just want to thank everybody down at Petty Harbor. Uh, for being so warm and wonderful. And this is, I can't explain this on the radio, the fish stew <laughs> that you can get at these events that they do at Fishing for Success, they just call it Leo's fish stew. Leo her. I didn't know what to expect. I thought it was going to be some lumpy white chowder. It was not. It was the most tasty thing. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that with cod. Anyway, go check out their website, fishingforsuccess.org. You can donate to the organization. They are. They do a lot of work on telling people what it, the fishery is really like. And of course, uh, Perry mentioned, like, there's some mention in this in the book about the moratorium that happened so many years ago. It was supposed to be for two years and it's been like 25 or 30 since that moratorium happened. And so Newfoundland still struggles to find out who we are and what we're good at. And uh, we're always, you know, clawing at the federal government to please send us money for different things. And it's like, you know what? This is, it. It's, the scales of justice are not where they need to be. Newfoundland should be the richest province in Canada based on the talent and the heart and the everybody deserves it obviously but newfoundland really has been getting the um something special it's something special yep. and uh I, I feel like we don't um sometimes we don't really um have the gumption to pat each other on the back as much as we maybe should because it is really it's a beautiful place and i'm really i'm really happy to be in newfoundland to raise my family and to bring my family to events like that where they're getting the authentic experience and they're seeing the fishing boats and they're seeing like there's a successful crab fishery here in newfoundland right now and there's boats there's active fishermen fisher people in those boats going out and earning a living on the sea i mean who would think of going out on the ocean to take creatures out of it to make a living i mean it's they're risking their lives every day and it's so, just a beautiful it is a beautiful place and there's so much yeah. here to be thankful for and grateful for. And uh, if you're lucky enough to ever visit or be here or live here or call this home, um, you know, I really, uh, I'm really grateful to be here. And I'm grateful to have my family here. It's safe, it's wonderful, and it's beautiful. And there's so much to take in. And you know what? Um, guess what? You can make your own EP. You can make your own CD. You can record your own music with a couple of instruments over at Long McQuaid. And um, you can do your own stuff. You don't need, you don't need anybody to come along and tap you with their their um, scepter and say you my love are a musician or you are an artist if it's what you love to do you will find a way that's right and that's where i'm going to leave it for today thank you everybody for listening to my uh watching my emotional journey um we're going to go have some dinner now and uh, talk to our kids about what we're going to do this summer we are headed to stand fest we're going to stand fest we're going to go up and see some music up on uh, on the mainland as they call it and play a few shows along the way and uh, visit our friends up in Ontario. Carmel, I know you're listening. Gary Smith, we've got some shows coming up with Gary Smith. And, let's play uh, a Gary Smith song right now. Let's play a Gary Smith song because that man us. is like one of my favorite humans also. So thank you to everybody who tunes in every week. And um, 
Because otherwise we'd be talking to ourselves, which is also great. Yes, it is. But thank you for giving us a sounding board and a platform um, to uh, to keep creating here in the province and keep at it. If you got one of those emails today, I can tell you there's more to life. It's going to be okay, and you will find a way if you're if you're called to this sort of stuff. Um, you will find a way, and it's going to be good. It's going to be awesome. So here's Gary Smith with Mandolin Song, and uh, we'll see you we'll next see you Tuesday. Next week. We're out here. Uh, we'll say goodbye on Facebook. Yep. See you folks. So we'll put links to everything. Thank you again to Henry Morgan. We'll put links to his Facebook and SoundCloud or SoundCloud and YouTube. Thanks um, for tuning in. That's the boys. They're getting hungry, so they're coming back in. Thank you, everybody. Make sure you share, like, subscribe, all the things. It actually does help. Um, okay. It helps more than you know to uh, share what we're doing and uh, spread the love, man. Say, say, let Peter say bye. Oh, say bye, say bye Pete. Bye bye. Oh, are you on there? Say, there you go. Bye bye. <laughs> bye, sweetheart. See you next week. They're my sweethearts. You're also lovely. You're my. You're, Probably. You can be my sweetheart too. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> see you, folks. Thank you, everybody, and uh, bye, we'll bye. see you next week. <laughs>